Hi everyone, welcome to the Bruce Zizal Research Channel. We research in space, we're always on the moon. We found a great technique in showing the UFOs, lights and moving objects and even maybe possibly biological creatures, who knows? This is a nice map image and this is what I did with a couple of nice shots, sinus iridum, a couple of cliffs hanging off the edges, you know, to get some nice shots of the surface of the moon. Boy, this caused a lot of hype back in uh, 2016 when I started wanting to integrate images and make nice images like this so that we can look at the surface and analyze some of the objects. Now, these maps aren't to look for structures. They're to look for the topography of the moon. It's to look at all the objects. So any imperfection that is created, any little square that can be created by doing these maps, well, you're not going to post a video and say that you found structures. So that way, you guys know exactly what I'm showing you. It's the real moon. It's the surface of the moon. It's a piece of the moon that I put on a plate and worked on, which means we uh, gave it height and gave it elevation. We can see some high objects off the surface, and that's why I want to uh, use this program to analyze some of those objects that are on the surface and show you a nice artistic way of seeing the beautiful surface of the moon. Now, check this out. The surface here, this is the surface of the moon, and all the traits and all the lines that you're seeing there really is the moon. It's a, um, a three-dimensional layering map. So that means if I wanted to, I could have put height. I could add height. I could make the mountain so bloody high, you know, do anything I want with these images. But in reality, the it's at zero. I'm not using any elevation. I'm showing you uh, the surface of what is there. So the elevation of the ridge that you're seeing there is so that you get an idea how it would be to be on the actual surface of the moon. These, again, are real pictures. I don't care what anybody says. People didn't like me doing the uh, the three-dimensional images. I'm going to start doing a lot of them. Get some up for the members' videos and the Patreons too so that we can analyze the surface. And this is uh, a cool, different way of looking at it. So this is a unique video I wanted to share with you guys and gals. We're going to see structures and we're going to uh, see the before and after so there's no manipulation so that you guys can see and get that extra little effect of exactly how high these structures are. Shut up, Drain. High rising objects on the surface will be able to take a unique look at them with these real three dimensional images. So during the time that I find some high objects on the surface, towering objects like those snake heads and all that, we'll be able to look at them like this, which will be interesting. Again, we're not looking for structures in these images, even though they are real images. Because when you do 3D mapping images, well, of course, you could get some imperfections and stuff. We're not going to uh, base all our findings on these images. We're looking at objects that I find with my images, and then we can view them in uh, three dimension. I hope you enjoy it. Look at the massive wall on the surface. Look how incredible it is to watch this in, in uh, 3D. Now you have the tools to understand exactly what I'm showing you. I'm showing you a ridge that has elevation. The elevational height that I'm showing you is probably not the original height that's on the moon. It's just to give you an idea of exactly what's there. These are real images. This was taken on the moon, and it's a real image of the moon that was transferred into 3D. Many different programs, mesh wiring programs, it's hard to understand. Here's the original image, and here's in 3D. So again, no manipulation. The proof is there before and after. Enjoy some really, really eye-opening photos. So you see how the images get a little bit of height 
that's all that I'm doing. And that's what you can see. And that's how 3D programs work. Someone is up there on the moon and there are constructed objects on the moon that are connected, longing the whole surface, reaching craters and exposing more anomalies on the surface like towering objects and lots of stuff. Once again, this that you're going to see right now is an original image that I captured with my telescope and Nikon D850 of the surface of the moon. I inverted the image and now I'm going to present it to you this way. See, there's no manipulation and this is how I should have explained it four years ago. But it was deliberate. People would say, no, 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 what are you doing? What are you? It's like it was something that I had invented myself, the 3D. It's been around for hundreds of thousands of minutes, right? <laughs> Here's the image and we're looking at it in different angles which everyone's always so mesmerized at my different angles, saying Bruce is a manipulator. Now I'm making, making you guys look like fools because this is all I'm doing. These are original images, by the way. You have to get a clear image to be able to get the surface. First of all, that's the first thing you have to do is to be a good photographer and to be able to get clarity of the surface amongst all those hazes and clouds. Here's another original video, Copernicus Crater Surface, and now we're gonna see it with some meshing. Real shot of Copernicus crater, no manipulation, inverted, and there is Copernicus on the top left. You see the mountainous layers and lines and everything that's on the surface, right there, exposed, not even hiding. See how with the meshing we get a nice sense of that elevation to give us an even better ideal of exactly what's up there and to see the structures even more, they're sticking out. It's like having 3D glasses in a way. And this is just a way I love showing the moon. It's my way to view the moon. It's my photography technique. And it's a way that I think people uh, can enjoy seeing the surface exactly what it looks like because this is not pixelation, it's a real image. And this is not 3D meshing mapping like I did at the beginning, beginning, beginning. The beginning was taking the original uh, photo and running it through a 3D mesh. This is just getting some elevation on that surface as you're seeing here with the meshing. All these images were shown originally and now I'm running them through some of these uh, 3D software programs, which are pretty cool. I did this four or five years ago and uh, I should have continued because it's a really nice way to see the surface. So here, there's no elevation actually, you're just looking at a straight up image, it's in a box. Mons Argeus, Apollo 17 moon landing site, which in this image you can't see those three lines and you can't even see the square in Mare Serenitatis that I've showed you um, folks. So what we're looking at here is all of Mons Argeus connections and all these supposed craters. What do you think of this one? Would have taken hundreds of years, if not thousands, to install all that on the moon. And to install it without us noticing? Must have been there a while ago. Well, the trolls are gonna have to learn about 3D now. <laughs>